Hi, in this lesson we'll learn 51 really cool jazz licks. First I'll play the licks in normal speed, then once more in slow motion so you can easily see what's going on. I'll also write the licks on sheet music above. And on the keyboard I'll add graphic markers uh, showing you the specific keys that are being played. So. This lesson should hopefully provide you with all the means to learn and study some cool and nice sounding jazz licks. I have divided the progress of this lesson into seven levels. We'll start up very easy with level one. And as we approach level seven, we'll gradually add more and more nice stuff to our toolbox of jazz. Okay. Above we have a really beneficial chord progression, containing many standard elements. We have for example the, the 251 progression in major, and the 251 in minor. Actually we have a complete sequence of descending fifths. And our chord progression also contains all the most common chord qualities. Minor 7th, 7th, major 7th, minor 7th flat 5, and the minor major 7th chord. So, the progression above is in many ways very relevant, beneficial and applicable. Okay. Let's get started with level one. We simply just play arpeggio on the chord notes. Now, just listen to the licks and don't worry, I'll play back the solo in half speed afterwards, so you can really study the very details, play along and try out the licks. Okay, here we go. A one, two. Now we'll slow down the speed. I simply just rewind the movie and play back the video in half speed. Doing this, I found out that we can actually very clearly hear my imperfection. I found out that I'm not 100% precise on the beats, actually. So, this is very revealing. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay. Let's hear the licks in slow motion. One, two, one, two. Let's move on. Here comes level two. We'll add some chromatic notes in between the arpeggio chord notes. Now please note that we have green markers when playing arpeggio. And red markers when playing chromatic. Okay, here we go. A one, two, a one, two, three, four.
now in slow motion. One, two, one, two. Okay, let's try something completely different. Level 3. We just play the blues scale in E minor. Over the entire chord progression. Here we go. One, two. And let's slow down the speed, displaying my imperfection. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Now, the next step is to combine some of our techniques. So, here comes level 4. Let's try to play both arpeggio, illustrated with green markers, and the blues scale, illustrated with blue markers. And here we go. One, two. Really nice, right? And now in slow motion, so you can really investigate, study and learn the phrases. One, two, one, two. Okay, here comes level 5. 
we'll mix in uh, the chromatic technique as well. So we'll play arpeggio, green markers, the blue scale, blue markers, and chromatic, red markers. So, here we go. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Let's play back these legs in slow motion. By the way, I really hope that this slow motion playback is useful to you. So you are very welcome to give me feedback in the comments below and let me know if this is something we should do more or less. One, two, one, two. Now, level 6. We'll use a completely new and different improvisation technique. We'll use a hand grip. Let's do this hand grip. Look, it's just a major triad. And we double the fifth. And we add this extra note uh, with uh, our middle finger. Please note, we always place our hand and fingers like this, in a fixed grip. And then we can transpose our hand grip to different positions. Let's try this out. This was a completely new kind of jazz sound, right? Let's study the licks in slow motion. One, two, one, two. Level 7. Let's mix everything together. Arpeggio. Green markers. Chromatic. Red markers. Blues. Blue markers. 
and trance. Pink markers. So let's try this out. One, two. Let's study the phrases in slow motion. One, two, one, two, three, four. So now we can really mix many different techniques together and do a lot of stuff. But please note that a lot of fancy techniques do not always make a good jazz solo. We can play great music just by using a single and simple technique. For example, uh, the level 1 arpeggio technique. In this lesson, I just wanted to demonstrate different styles, approaches and combinations to you, so you can add them to your toolbox for later use. So, for a start, take it easy, be cool, focus on uh, only a single technique that you like, and pick out another technique from the toolbox only if you feel ready for it. It's much, much better and much, much more fun to be good at one single technique than to be only half good at them all, right? Okay, I created a playlist that contains different lessons explaining a lot more about uh, the specific techniques we have used in this lesson. So if you want to investigate, for example, uh, the arpeggio, uh, chromatic or triad technique further, you should definitely visit the playlist. I'll of course paste a link to the playlist below. And let me just give you all a million thanks for all the likes and nice comments that really cheer me up. And thanks a lot for the donations that keep me going so I can cut down the hours at my job as a city bus driver. I really love you all very, very much. You are of course so much welcome to donate a small amount uh, at PayPal or Patreon, but don't feel obligated to donate anything. All my lessons are free, public and for everybody. Money or no money. And by the way, also thanks a lot for all the translations of uh, the English subtitles that make the new jazz lessons accessible to a much broader audience around the world. Please write me a comment at uh, the relevant video if you have done a translation. Then I have the chance to write back to you and give you many, many thanks. Well, that's it for now. Warm regards from Oliver Pring.